Welcome to the Mall of the Future versus the Ag Mall. What if agriculture is gone, farmland is destroyed, or people no longer farm? Let's travel virtually through the two different malls and see what it will be like if farmland and farmers no longer exist. We are now entering the Mall of the Future, where things are always better in the future, Technology has changed how things work, and we no longer need farmland and farmers. At this time, please remove your shopping card. We are now at the Mall of the Future, and from this point forward, we will be making a purchase at each store. Our first store is the Snack Shack, where what is available to purchase is a $4 bottle of water. And this is the only available item because no agriculture means no food. So, is the snack shack at the Mall of the Future really that great after all? Because no agriculture means no food. Let's take a closer look at a few examples. Our first would be ice cream. If we don't have any dairy farmers to lead to the production of milk, in turn, we can't produce ice cream. Next would be fruit. If we don't have any farmers to raise various crops to produce fruits and vegetables, we can't have these items either. And lastly would be snack mix. Snack mixes are usually made of cereals that come from oats, corn, and wheat. And if we don't have farmers to plant and raise these crops, we won't have snack mix in return. Now let's take a walk into Shoe World, store number two at Mall of the Future. We have two available items for purchase and you can select either one. The first will be $14 synthetic boots and the second option will be plastic flip flops for $8. Because remember, these are our only options since no agriculture means no wood, no canvas, and no leather. Here at Shoe World in the Mall of the Future, because there is no agriculture, there is no wood, canvas, or leather that can be used to make other items. We cannot have leather boots with wooden heels. Unfortunately, we cannot purchase canvas flats. And we cannot buy leather loafers either. Our next stop for the day is going to be the sporting goods store. At this time, please make your selection between purchasing a badminton racket for $8 or a flying disc for $6. These are our only items available for purchase here in the Mall of the Future because no agriculture means no wood, no leather, and no cotton. Well, we really seem to be striking out here at the sporting goods store in the Mall of the Future. Again, no agriculture leads to our inability to use wood, leather, and cotton. So unfortunately, we can't buy any wooden bats. No leather basketballs are available for purchase. And we can't buy any cotton nets or goals either. We're about halfway finished with our shopping spree at the Mall of the Future as we walk into our fourth shop, the Bath and Home Store. Available items for purchase include a $4 toothbrush, a synthetic pillow for $10, or a plastic water bottle for $8. No agriculture means no flavors, oils, soap, paper, feathers, or wood. The Bath and Home Store at the Mall of the Future does not use agriculture. Therefore, we have no flavors, oils, soap, paper, feathers, or wood. So we wouldn't be able to buy toothpaste at the Bath and Home Store because toothpaste contains cellulose gum. Cellulose gum is a thickening agent that comes from wood pulp. So although we could buy a $4 plastic toothbrush, we can't buy any toothpaste to put on top of it. Next, we wouldn't be able to purchase any books. With the books, they contain paper that comes from the trees. And in special circumstances, a book may be bound with a leather binding. That would come from animals. So again, without either one of these, we wouldn't be able to have books. And lastly, we wouldn't be able to have wooden furniture if we didn't have any plants and trees to give us the wood to make these items. Our final store that we will be visiting at the Mall of the Future is the closet. Here we will have three available items for you to purchase. The first of which is a $6 nylon hat. Next is a plastic jacket for $12. And the final item is a $15 polyester shirt. Without agriculture here at the Mall of the Future, we do not have any cotton, silk, wool, linen, or leather.
At the closet here at the Mall of the Future, you will see many items missing because no agriculture means no cotton, silk, wool, linen, or leather. We aren't able to buy any silk ties. We cannot purchase a wool and leather letter jacket. And our favorite cotton blue jeans, they aren't on the rack for sale. Our day of shopping at the Mall of the Future has come to an end. So at this time, please flip over your shopping card because we will now be headed to the Ag Mall where we will continue making purchases. At the Ag Mall, land is being preserved for farming, farmers are raising crops and livestock for food, and farmers are protecting our natural resources. The Snack Shack in the Ag Mall looks much more appetizing because we have 10 available items for purchase rather than just one at the Mall of the Future. So at this time, please select an item of your choice. First, we have cheese and peanut butter crackers for $2. Next is an apple for $2. There's also popcorn for $6, pizza for $8, or a soft pretzel for $3. Continuing on, we have strawberry sherbet for $4, a s'mores brownie for $4, $4 snack mix, a $12 steak dinner, or yogurt for $2. Next up at the Ag Mall, Shoe World. You know the drill. First up, $18 leather sandals. Next, $22 leather loafers. Followed by $22 leather boots. You could also purchase hiking boots for $24 or athletic shoes for $18. The shopping continues at the Sporting Goods Store and the Ag Mall with four available items for purchase. What we have include a $12 leather soccer ball, a $14 leather basketball, a leather mitt and baseball combo for $20, or a leather football for $15. Seven items are now available for purchase at the Bath and Home Store in the Ag Mall. Available items include mint toothpaste for $3, feather pillows for $10, a wool blanket for $14, a wood caddy for $10, soaps and lotions for $8, books for $12, or $12 cotton towels. The final store that we will be visiting today at the Ag Mall is the closet with four items available for purchase. We have wool socks for $6, a silk tie for $12, a $15 cotton athletic jacket, or a pair of cotton blue jeans for $22. Hmm, what if agriculture doesn't exist, farmland is destroyed, and people no longer farm. How will your life be different? And what will you eat? So, the next time you see a farmer, be sure to say thank you. Because after all, wasn't your shopping spree much more enjoyable at the Ag Mall? I know mine was. Welcome to the Mall of the Future versus the Ag Mall.